mode of transport. <laughs> I find sticky, sticky skin to carry the clay all this way. <laughs> but I do know that Marcus is a tortured artist who do work tirelessly on his creations, and so I know not that he would want to associate with a barkeep like me. Tristan, she's going to torture Marcus. <laughs> hey. Oh no. Perhaps an interference we could make. Yay, thou art quick witted, Tristan. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> and thus this here be Tristan. <laughs> I am Tristan. And I be Baron. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Mr. Alex, upon Baron's mm, nether regions there doth be some clay which doth hide it. Thinkest I perhaps these two know Marcus, the one who... <laughs> <laughs> Mayhaps for it be only Marcus who has access to the... Land of clay here, so it makes sense that they would know Marcus. Indeed. <laughs> 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 approach us, he did approach us, and may the other way around, and thus speak like business presently. Oh, <laughs> didst thou have business? I do we not work in a business? <laughs> <laughs> we wish to be employed. <laughs> We may need more barkeeps. Indeed, for it is only thee that mans the bar and I the storeroom, and thus, Yay. indeed, it is a good idea. But thinkest I that these two doth appear to be louts of the most cockroachian <laughs> <laughs> Thinkest thou that they would be able to match thine quick wit and sleight of hand at the bar? Ah, well, I, I can pour the mead and they can carry it to the tables, for it doth require a steady hand to carry it to the table. Mm. Indeed, steady onward, these two do appear to be. <laughs> Very slow and steady, one might say. <laughs> Sit, I do, at the end of the day, relaxing after a long day of serving customers. There do be so many in, in turn of the pottery festival. They doth come through the doors in great droves like locusts. <laughs> and what thinkest thou of pottery? Pottery? Why, I think it is fine. Uh, my twin doth admire it more so than I. And yet, uh. Trat! We all have known Greenwald and Alex, the twins, and alack, this is Alex, and so if Alex's twin doth like the pottery more, then it certainly is Greenwald who doth like the pottery more. <laughs> Indeed, but I think tis a fine, tis a fine charge, and, and yet that tortured artist Marcus, uh, methinks, tis a fine gentleman, I have nary seen his face, for he is, tis always in his studio. But wherefore dost thou bring up the topic? Ah. Uh. I was simply wondering, for pottery be much of the conversation as it speaks. Th thou spake of Marcus, and said thou that he be tortured? Oh, indeed. Everyone in this town, and nay, the next one over, nay, even the next country over, doth know of Marcus and how mm, emo he is. <laughs> Heardest I that he is tis quite skilled with his hands? 
I, I am. I am sure that that is a true fact, that people have been speaking about this Marcus. Ah, indeed, it is interesting. And say, I care less about the pottery aspect of this young festival, and nay, more of the marriage aspect, which doth come at the end of times. Oh! Thou carest more for, for marriage, and, and, and not the art, than, than the actual art and pottery itself. Uh, indeed, most certainly. Oh, I see now. My love care more for marriage, and looking good, and not having clay upon one's hands, than clay and pottery and vases. Alack, I shall forbid myself from continuing my pottery work, especially after my boss had been broken by my two idiots. <laughs> my hands are quite dirty after a long day in the storerooms. I shall to wash them off. Oh. <clears throat> but hast thou some business coming into the tavern after hours? Nay, it was simply a wayward soul looking for thoughts and advice and feelings, and <laughs> I have come to my own conclusions. But may I wash my hands here? Uh, indeed, very well, tis a wash basin. <laughs> All no. our patrons doth use it, and thus tis no different for thou to use it. Surely this washing has no greater metaphorical significance. <laughs> <laughs> Nay, he be a foolish gentleman, for as I wash mine hands now, I know that never in the future shall I ever touch one speck of clay, and if I am to touch more clay than geez, I will be the foolish, most <laughs> gentleman person that be. <laughs> While Tristan is away, I do hear footsteps above. Oh, so many footsteps. <laughs> I. But they've come to rest. <laughs> A terrible knocking on our door. Tis not Marcus, surely he would never sully his hands, nor Tristan, for he enters without knocking. <laughs> I, who goes? Um, I know not whether I should reveal my identity to this unknown person in the chamber, but know I that I wish the most to have access to this chamber, and thus I may say. No one in particular. No one in particular. Where is particular? <laughs> particular be yon chamber. Oh, then thou must come in. <laughs> Tristan now, half the time. <laughs> it is lovely to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Thou must be a worker in this here pottery studio, for thy hands be covered in the mock of clay. Yea, tis true, I did carry slip for the Master Marcus, and I did tend the stacks of charcoal, but Master Marcus hath given up the art, and thus our kilns fire no more, and having taken up other employments at the bar nearby, I wait here for mine shift to begin. <laughs> Thou speakest in the most slow and disinterested tongue. It seems as though thou art rather bored by thine circumstances, when I have been told that this chamber be the most interesting thing that yon town has to offer. Oh, thou wishest to see the secret. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, because not. Thou must not tell anyone. It is not the chamber the secret, but what the chamber holds. Yay, I do wish to know. <laughs> Behold, it is an ancient, ancient chest, 
They say that when one looks within it, one is forever changing. Aye, the sight of what lies within strikes all with an affliction known as love. <laughs> Magical things. I have never heard of such a wondrous invention. Hath thine eyes ever been cast upon the inside of yon chest? No, I have not gone. <laughs> <laughs> then perchance we may both look upon the chest and find love stricken in our hearts. Not for one another, but for some other. <laughs> Yea, but I know not the mechanic. Perhaps thou must try first. And we shall see. Perhaps it shall put thee in some terrible sleep, or thy, thy eyes might spew blood, or some other stuff. <laughs> and I, being the risk averse baron, shall <laughs> not try first. I wonder if he, Gregorio, may cry aloud, Oh! in some telltale manner that I might know quickly if it shall be something that I shall do immediately thereafter <laughs> or shun for fear. <gasps> oh, why, tis a pleasant oh, my turn. Hi, <laughs> get thee one pace hence. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> keep it, keep it steady, keep it steady in my hand. And now put it upon to the table. <laughs> Place the pot that I did <laughs> For these are our signs from which we do drink. Yay. <laughs> but now we do bow to our patron. Yay, and. Oh! <laughs> for my drink, while this guy walks around like an idiot. What is happening? Yay, and now I tend this lead to our next patron. Oh, yay. Yay, for you to fill the, the, the pot, <laughs> and I do carry the pot to them. Yay, forsooth, here is the next pot. It's true, but now the pot to be inside my hand, and leave it by a pot. <laughs> but thus my past to see, so think it I. Here be thy pot. <laughs> Thank thee. And I do apologize, for sooth, thou hast been waiting for much time, and. Oh, but thy brother has not arrived. Oh, I do not know what has gotten into my brother as of late. Gregorio has been running about the town and, and not inviting me along. I, I thought we would have such a lovely time in this city. Ah, oh, tis unfortunate, for uh, Gregorio do be uh, liked by people who shall not be named who mayest work at this bar. Interesting. I had not thought that love would be 
No, nay, not love. Oh, I speak as not of love. Oh, no, nay, I have said too much. <laughs> Such strange service at this bar. I, I think the barkeep herself might be maybe having too much to have drank, and told me a secret she wished not to have. Is the barkeep in love with my brother? Oh, oh, nay, I have spoken too much. I shall stop speaking now and only oh, be serving the is pots this of... this about thy love? <laughs> no, 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 it's not about my love. Oh, oh. Didst thou look in the bad box? Speakest <laughs> <laughs> thou the bad box? Do tell. There is a box that we do not look in. <laughs> Who be we? The soul. What? Why do we not look in the box? For in the box there do be love. <laughs> the love seems to be the most pleasant of emotions. Why Why would I not look in the box? Love is not me. I've been told that many times, again and again. Oh. Were I in love, I think it would break. Just 